Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning into your mid-April love tarot reading. This is a bonus reading for Cappy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Having a look to see what sort of energies are coming up around you during this mid-April period. So I do want to say thank you for joining me. Please feel free to like, share or subscribe um, to receive notifications of any upcoming themed readings. Otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up for Capricorn in regards to love during this mid-April period. Okay, four cards. You've got the Ten of Wands, the Magician, the Two of Swords, and the last card is the Two of Wands. Okay, definitely a theme of indecision here or something becoming too heavy. There's something that you've been thinking about, Capricorn, and in essence, I think it's weighing you down. I do. Now, there is something about pressure or hardship or something that's becoming a little bit too much. It might be concerning a fire sign. Three of the four cards is fire energy here, Capricorn. So this message might be more specific to those fire signs. Um, even if you're not dealing with a fire sign, though, the Ten of Wands indicates you're approaching an important decision. I think something you've been weighing up for quite some time. There's two cards here that both indicate two options, be being at a fork in the road, not really sure where your next steps are here. Um, and I feel like there's a fast-paced energy that's un it's unfolding around you with the Magician card. I think there's a sense of urgency or some sort of pressing matter that might come up around you during this mid-period or something becomes really heavy very quickly, okay? Whether this is intensity, whether this is love, whether this is commitment, it's you're not enjoying this anymore, Capricorn. I think a lot of you are coming up to a period where, you know, you either just want things to end or you want to walk away or, you know, there's something here that you're determined with that magician could be Aries energy or an Aries sign, but I think, I don't know, some of you I see you potentially taking a step back. The magician is is, uh, is is a talented craftsman. He works alone. He likes to work alone. So some of you might be walking away from a situation or there could be someone who's saying no to you, Capricorn. Um and maybe this is the burdensome task. Maybe this is the heaviness that you might be um, lingering around you in, in that mid-month period. And that block or that, you know, that disconnection has come up here and it can cause anxiety. The moon is here. So it can be a cancer. It can be anxiety. It can be around an air sign. The two swords, I feel like it could potentially be Gemini energy. Um, but it's duality. It's being in two minds about something. And so is the two of ones, that indecision that needs to be made, uh, or a decision that needs to be made, I should say. I almost want to say, you know that there's something else out there for you, Capricorn. Now, maybe some of you understand that maybe not right now is, is the time to pursue some sort of connection. But I wouldn't be surprised if this connection comes back around or is lingering around you in the not-so-distant future or maybe in the long-distance future. Time will tell. But I think there's a situation that I do see separate ways. So separation potentially happening for some of you Capricorns, becoming newly single, becoming independent. Um... I feel like the magician, you're calling the shots though. I feel like the power falls into your hands. Um, and it is Aries energy, so it's so motivated. Now, this could be going the other way. The Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands, as much as it can be burdensome energy, it can indicate a lot of hard work and perseverance. Now, someone is coming up with Ten of Wands energy, and the other thing, the other energy, someone else's energy is. It's almost like they don't appear to be doing the hard work, Capricorn. And the notion, the, the repetition of two, there's two very different approaches coming up in regards to a connection. And I worry that that contrast is really going to become clear and evidenced. And maybe it's a good thing. I think a lot of you needed to see this. You needed to see it with your own eyes. But someone couldn't be trying as hard, not as hard. I mean, the magician makes everything look so effortless. So... I don't know if there's something that you'll make look very effortless or potentially someone you're dealing with. Or you've got the energy to leave a situation. You're motivated now more than other. 
can it be in repairing things? It can be, especially if this is a second attempt at a relationship or a connection. If you're trying to revive something, say a long distance relationship or a, uh, a foreign lover, that opportunity could come up here around you. But I do, I do have a feeling you'll make an important decision of leaving comfort, leaving familiarity behind. Maybe you're fearful of something here, Capricorn. You're fearful of taking that first step with the magician. But know that once you do, once you make some sort of decision, it'll all happen very quickly around you. Very fast-paced energy here with the magician. So I think whatever this is that you're going through, I feel like it's going to happen fairly quickly. Uh, but I do hope that makes sense, and I do hope you have enjoyed this reading. Thank you again for tuning in, Capricorn. Please don't forget to subscribe. Um, otherwise, please take care, and until next time, bye for now.